Sends away round two. Round two. No score. Two falls to decide this bout. Catch weight because Marty Jones at 13 stone five, the light heavyweight champion, versus Tony Sinclair at 15 stone three, the heavyweight champion. And that is proof that uh, Sinclair is pretty able to control the situation most of the time. But at the end of round one, he certainly was in trouble for a bit. Jones getting his share of attacking, all right. Yes, <laughs> typical Jones move, that attempt at a leg trap, but uh, simply a sort of thing. Full weight on that left leg. Jones going for the left leg now. Trying to weaken that some more. Sinclair hardly sweating at all, but Jones pouring off him already. It's only this round two. Yes, he's giving away a bit of weight in experience. A single leg Boston there on that left leg no. weekend. Jones chance. No. 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 No, he's lost it now. Sinclair crawling through the legs. Ropes and a rope spread. Okay. But a good attempt there by Marty Jones. Marty Jones in the dark boots and the knee bandage. Left to his cream. Well, Tony Sinclair bridging well from that, taking the full weight from head and toes. Feet well underneath him, and he just get all the way. Nice twist. Double arm stretch. Jones. And Sinclair again in trouble in round two, as he was for a minute or two at the first. <laughs> Even John smiles at that. He's done that trick so many times himself and caught his man out when he was caught himself out. He's turned the wrist nicely. Goes for the front, goes for the top of the What a beautiful, perfect spin out there by Sinclair. Two very fit men here in the ring. Plants him with just one minute to go on the corner. Oh, great butt. Great butt. Good luck and strangle. scissors with the, the left instep behind the right knee, really closing it up. And Jones can't score from that, but he certainly can leave his man a bit uncomfortable for the last 12 seconds of this second round. But 
once again, Sinclair out of trouble, right on the bell. And a nice drop kick to finish, but wasn't started after the bell. And uh, Sinclair apologizing to uh, Jones and the referee and everybody, yes, taken in good, good part there by uh, Jones, who realizes it was quite unintentional. He'd started the move, and it was a real flying drop kick, so there was nothing to do about stopping it when the bell went. Second away, round three. Round three, six rounds to go, and still no score. Sinclair versus Jones. Sinclair in the silver boots. and both smile as they realize nothing's going to win. <laughs> so he helps him along instead of taking the check. <laughs> so a very surprised Marty Jones lands well on his feet and no pounds. Very sporting Helps him back. The body check is not going to work for either man. Oh, and a high monkey climb by some player. Beauty. Not this time, and it's Jones going over with a folding press. He's got him. The first ball to Marty Jones, and it took him one minute, 25 seconds into round three. Great move by Marty Jones. He sidestepped that monkey climb beautifully. Our MC to an out. A one minute, 25 seconds of the third round. The first fall goes to the British light heavyweight champion. Well, Marty Jones. The light heavyweight champion giving away a stone and three quarters here plus and leading by the one fall he just gained in the third round. And Tony Sinclair must be a bit worried now. His right shoulder seems to be worrying him too. I think he'll have to go ahead any second. Take the way round four. Yes, the bell won't wait for injured wrestlers unless they throw in the towel or the referee stops the, the contest. Jones doesn't want that at any cost, of course. He's leading now the heavyweight champion of Great Britain, and he wants to continue this bout at all costs. Yes, I think Tony Sinclair, okay. Right throw of trouble. Well, I would have bet anything against Marty Jones leading at this stage, but he is. The man with his back to us now on the right there, on the canvas now, must be a bit surprised about it too. going to have to do something drastic here. Coming back hard with the attacking moves. Yes, beautiful backdrop. And that caught him. He didn't get his feet down on that one. And the morning he, he got his feet down a little bit better. Both men trying the same weakness on the back. The cart wheeled out nicely. Sinclair very fast. This is a heavyweight. Can you believe it? Going for the double arm over the top in the corner, but no one near the ropes. And that beautiful shoulder press by Sinclair in exactly the same time as it took Jones to get his ball in the last one. A one minute, 25 seconds of the fourth round. The equalizing fall to the British heavyweight champion, Tony Sinclair. Oh, that was fantastic move there by Sinclair. His right shoulder obviously not worrying him, but my gosh, he got in there really quick from there. Took a double arm, took his man over from underneath, held that shoulder press for a count of three quite easily. And we're halfway through the bout at 1-1. One, one. Take it away, round five. Round five, four to go. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. 
Remember Jones standing there behind this man in the knee bandage and dark boots. Not so easily distinguishable unless you have a color set, of course. Jones in his dark red and uh, Sinclair in his blue, but uh, on a monochrome set, of course, that doesn't show, and it's uh, very identical, those two pairs of trunks. Yes, a wrench rather than the posting that Sinclair was expecting. Can Jones go ahead again? Trying everything he knows to do so, working on the Sinclair left shoulder is a weakness at the moment. And Lever against the shoulder. Oh, great. It's a great arm roll. And it's the same for him. Beautiful. Gonna be so accurate with those. Backhammer from the top. Double wrist lock position by Marty Jones. <clears throat> and Sinclair lands on the hand, the arm. Unable to get it out of the way before the landing. Yes, inside leg hanger for Sinclair will go. He's trying for a submission, Jones. He only wants this for the match. If he just gets this one submission, he must surely have a chance at Sinclair's title. Again, the wrench really weakening that left arm. Now, the treatment's coming towards that Sinclair left arm continuously. And more to come yet. That's a good way out. Taking over the top. And take him out the side again for a folding press, but the feet through the ropes. And saves Marty Jones from the from losing the bath. If he hadn't been so near the edge, that could have been it. And Jones knows it, and smiles ruefully as he realizes that was the nearest moment he's been to defeat. Two minutes to go in the fifth. And this packed capacity hall here, civic hall here at Digbeth. They won't even sit down, most of them. They're so excited by this tremendous wrestling here. The atmosphere is electric. And for real, true, purest wrestling fans, you can't really want better than this. Both men giving their all in this bout so far. Time must surely come when they tire a little bit. Port, port on the way. Flying tackle, but Jones ready for it. Now it all depends if he can hold his balance. There's a minute to go. In this fifth round, can Jones hold his balance or will Sinclair get him over? He's got him over. Cross press. Two, it's a count of two only, and Jones manages to throw the heavyweight champion off. Just at the nick of time. The second time that Jones is buried right on the point of the field. But he still comes back with the attack. Half a minute left. Jones doesn't even think of attacking his man when he's down. Why not? Why shouldn't he? Why? He didn't need to with the wrestling still like this. Going for the double arm again, Jones, but can he get him ground? He's got him over the top shoulder press on now and clear in trouble. But forces his way, completes the somersault with the ropes. And only five seconds to go. And still the action continues with Tony Sinclair's uppercuts. Well, what about this is? 
This is really tremendous professional wrestling here. Still one fall each. The heavyweight champion goes over to congratulate the lighter man on a magnificent round, and it was by both men. But there are still three rounds to go. Sinclair looking quite calm, but I bet inwardly he's a little bit worried about this. This man's getting a bit near. Stand away, round six. Round six, three to go, one fall each. And Sinclair walks straight into a crossbar on the back. And a double arm suplex over the top, cross press, and Sinclair again in trouble. Jones followed that suplex up a little bit slowly. Going for the crotch hold and slam. Doesn't follow it at all. And still they're keeping up this furious pace. And Sinclair going into the fly tackle is across the bus. And that took Jones on the way. But still Jones gets out of it on the corner too. This is incredible. He thought that maybe Sinclair was following him. Oh, that is purely accidental. Nobody meant a head butt there. Is this a question of which one gets up first? Or will either of them? Almost counted out the pair of them, but Sinclair comes out first and pressure and goes over the folding press. But, oh, how unlucky. What an unlucky finish for Jones. Excellent quick move there by Sinclair getting that folding press. But it was Jones he's got to be sorry for. Because in one minute, five seconds of round six, the winner goes to Sinclair after that accidental headbutt and an unfortunate ending. In one minute, five seconds of the sixth round, the winner goes to the British heavyweight champion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree with me, it's been a very sporting contest. How about one for the Liverpool?